Hey, I'm Taylor Craig. I'm Alex Suisa. And welcome to the Pucking Panthers Podcast. We don't give a puck. And neither does Ryan Keelan. That's why he's not here today. But despite, we are still going to be going over uh, the free agency yeah. signings that went on today. Uh, it, was, it was pretty exciting. Mm-hmm. Obviously, biggest move, getting James Reimer. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, kind of a, a, a guy who has had a, a not the greatest luck in Toronto, gets a chance to go on a good team um, after his time with the Sharks, now with the Panthers. Yeah. Uh, you know, his... What do you see that move doing for the for the club? It's, I guess he's our goalie of the future. Right? We've been talking about who's going to be the goalie after Luongo. Now there's concerns about Luongo's uh, hip surgery that he just had right after the playoffs. He could possibly not play in the beginning of the season, and now Reimer, I guess, is going to be that starter mm-hmm. to start the season and possibly two to three years down the road for him. I mean, he's going to be able to split with Luongo. That he's. I think he'll be a capable backup. I hope so. Yeah. I, I mean, him with Luongo is going to be like a great mm-hmm. tandem if they're together. Mm-hmm. I mean, we have uh, we have a friend who uh, is telling us from the ice den that Luongo's going in and he's working on, he's, he's getting trying to rehab that hip. Um, I think Roe was a little bit early in saying that yeah. they that he wouldn't be ready by, you know, months from now. I think Usually, Roe was a little early on saying a lot of things. He, 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 he's, it kind of seems weird the way I he think, talks to the media. I think he's just really outgoing, and I think in his new position, maybe he wants, you know, the media to, like, like him in a way. Know exactly what's happening. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, he's not exactly, he kind of has that transparent, not tr- not hiding anything, kind of the uh, anti-Lou Lamarillo. But, yeah, so we, uh, so we got Reimer. Reimer uh, signed a $17 million five-year contract, and first year, $5 million. Mm-hmm. All the other years, he gets paid three. So that opens up space for all these restricted free agents we have yeah. to sign. And the Ekblad contract. Yeah. That's big. So that's that's eight years, $7.5 it's, million. It's been rumored for a while, but, I mean, now it's like official, official, you yeah. know? Everyone's tweeting about it. Ekblad's talking about it. He's Instagramming about it. I mean... He's making it apparent that he really wants to be here forever. Like, yeah. He literally, that's his words. I want to play here forever. And, I mean, what more can you want from a franchise D-man that is going to be the face of this franchise for years, yeah. 20 years, you know what I mean? This guy's going to be, this guy is the guy on the Panthers. And this is just my opinion, and I think you share the same one. Just give him the C. Just give him yeah, the captain yeah, yeah. C now. After that give, make contract, just, yeah, after that <laughs> contract, it's time to just say, yeah. okay, it's time to do like a Crosby thing here. You get the young guy at first overall. He's a franchise guy. You yeah. give him the big deal. Give him the C. It's right time. There. It's, it's time. Just I, get, he, he has this team for the next nine years. Mm-hmm. He has he has the likability. He has the skill to lead a team. He has the voice. I mean, this guy is is he has the beard. He's the captain. You know he is. And he lived with he, Willie Mitchell. You know, he knows what it's like to we, be a captain. We were also talking, we were fans of giving uh, Brian Campbell the C. Uh, you know what? And, <laughs> and now Brian Campbell is gone. And I mean, I don't know if you want to get too into this, but it seems like he really, really, really wanted to be a Chicago Blackhawk. He did. Right when it turned 12 today, <laughs> on July 1st, 2016. Every single wallpaper on that guy's Twitter turns to the Chicago Blackhawks. <laughs> he didn't say one thing about the Panthers. No, nope, no. Nope. He's just tweeting Tay saying, "Oh, I can't wait! I'm so happy to be under the best leader in the world again." Oh, God. oh man, this guy and there's we definitely like, we were like, yeah, there's some the serious there's captain. some serious resentment between Campbell and the Pan- Panthers organization. I didn't organization. know that he didn't really like to be here. You can look on his guy. look on his Twitter feed and and look at his tweet from four days ago. He has time to thank a duck restaurant, but he doesn't have time to thank the Florida <laughs> Panthers organization <laughs> for a, a job well done. Uh, people are saying he chose family over money. Apparently, because yeah. we were we I mean, offered five I mean, million. I was watching NHL Network and they're like they're bashing us saying. Why wouldn't we give that to Campbell? Because he did sign for like $2 million, something around there at Chicago right. to be there for a year. And they're like bashing us saying, wow, so we give up Brian Campbell and we go after Yandel and give him so much money. And why didn't we just give that to Campbell? But they didn't even stop to consider. Like yeah. we gave, we yeah. apparently offered Campbell $5 million for one year. Yeah. And then, or like, I think it was like three point like six or something like that for two years. It was two offers on the table. Brian Campbell chose not to come here. Yeah. You know what I mean? He didn't want to be here. Yeah. And you know, there's not much you can do about it. I but don't know. you know what? I a lot of people have concerns over the fan, Panthers defense. Um me and Roe happens to think very highly of Ian McCoshin. Who actually yeah just was, signed an entry level mm-hmm. contract. Finally, official. Yeah. Official it's official yeah. again, another one that was rumored and yeah. happened a while ago, but it's mm-hmm. official now that yeah. it's July first. 
and good yeah, defense on the left side. Yeah, Roe yeah. is saying Roe is very, very like he's making it clear. He thinks Ian Makojian is going to be a defenseman for us this year. He wants him to get that spot. You know what I mean? He's keeping it open for him. But back to free agency. Uh, mm-hmm. Are there? So we got two other guys. Yeah. Uh, what What's the first one? We got Colin Sevier. Yeah. From uh, he was on Dallas last year. He fights. He, 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 yeah. But he has some hands, you know. He, he can put the puck in the net once in a while, and I think this is a guy that's going to end up on our fourth line. Yeah, they're they're saying he's a gritty guy. He and he does put up points. He has twenty five points last year in seventy one games with Dallas. So that's not bad for a fourth line guy. I mean, they're saying he could be that fourth line guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then we also went out and got Jonathan Marcheseau yeah. from Tampa, and he's apparently a very intriguing guy. Mm-hmm. That he was on a list of the top five gems to find in free agency today. And uh, he's a short guy, 5'9". That's why a lot of teams weren't going crazy for him. But uh, he's another, he could play, I guess, on the the wing. He's a kind of a center. But, I mean, this is a guy that could be on our third line. He could play with Bukestad, possibly, on the right. Yeah. Um, he's he, had he's had over three hundred games in the AHL yeah. and had has almost had two hundred and fifty points. So he's at a point mm-hmm. eight points per game pace. This guy has proven that he can produce at the AHL level. Yeah. He is kind of like that Kyle Rao. We were talking about this, where he's kind of that Kyle Rao size and and in speed and hands, but he's a lot more proven. He's done it at the professional level in the AHL. And so he, now it's time for him to make that jump. Yeah, and last year he played with uh, Tampa in the NHL. He only played forty five games though. But he did have 18 points, so another, you know what I mean, another mm-hmm. project, whatever you want yeah. to say. But he can, you know, he can produce yeah. at the NHL level. Well, anyway, uh, from the Pucky Panthers podcast, I'm Taylor Craig. I'm Alex Wiesa. And we'll see you again soon. No, I'm <laughs>